on tour, so it'll be interesting to see how she tries to cover Brooks' amazing ground strokes that she was able to groom at the University of Michigan. About 65 degrees here to start. Just a beautiful day. We had some challenges with the weather on day number one. As Caitlin Christian, the 32-year-old former USC Trojan, what an entertaining match she had with Catherine Parento yesterday. Parento did not look like she was fully up to her usual standard. She spent some time off in the game. She'll certainly be back. For sure. And uh, Catherine had a, a bit of a struggle earlier in the day against Hannah Blatt. She went three three games with her on one of the backcourts. So uh, not her finest pickleball, but uh, game one. you know, props to Caitlin for, for powering through. There's Brooke Buckner, former Michigan Zero. Wolverine, digging in. So Point. underway, Caitlin Christian, first point on the board here to start day two. Point zero. So, Ryan, you mentioned Annalee not in the draw. Obviously, big opportunity for these young ladies to shine here on championship court. 2-0. Good athletic point. plays here from Christian so far. But, to, Drew, to your point, yes, Annalee being out of the draw as well as Ben, you know, I think uh, both men and women on all sides of the brackets were a bit excited about the opportunity Three, to play to, to capture 1,000 points this weekend. Oh, cross-court shot. Well done. Brooke Buckner, champion at the LA Open, where she defeated Lauren Stratman on Championship Sunday. 0-3. Point. Brooke rolls deep with her uh, Charlotte crew, Jack Sock, Eric Roddy, Colin Schick. Uh, it's a fun camaraderie that they kind of exhibit whenever each one of them is playing. They're, they're out there on the bench or in the huddle. Point. And how about Brooke, recently acquired by Carolina and MLP, and that trade for Andrea Coop. And now we're even at threes. Good job by both Caitlin and Brooke mixing up the, the passing shots. I think they're just trying to find an area three, of weakness three. to potentially exploit both of them. Are, they're so good at ca covering the ground laterally. Point. Brooke opting to go inside in there again, and I think Caitlin had guessed right, but just a little too much on that volley. Four, three. Point. Timeout received. And the first timeout. So we mentioned Brooke Buckner and her success at the LA Open. Caitlin Christian. Pulling him in with, uh, with the fan support yesterday, but that bench isn't big enough Point for those three, three boys. And now six straight points for Brooke Buckner. How about this? Six three. Side out. Great step there from Christian to cover that down the line shot. Three six. Oh, wow. Side out. We were talking with Eric Roddy yesterday, and he was just describing he trains and plays with Brooke back home so much. He's just one of the hardest hitters <laughs> on tour, and Six, I think it's a scary matchup for him at times when they go baseline to baseline. Point. 7-3 now in favor of Brooke Buckner. 7-3. So Buckner now dictating. Point. Remember, this match was supposed to happen late in the day yesterday because of the inclement weather. 
It got pushed too early this morning. Would you rather play early in the morning or late in the day? Well, Eight, curious your thoughts on that after this point. Uh, good question, Drew. I think it, it all depends, but if you're having kind of your, your great day of momentum and you're in your flow, I think you just try to grind it out that night mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to kind of giving more time to think and potentially have to restart the... Uh, Chip Sunday and men's singles time in. here in 2024. Brooke Ten Buckner three. trying to do the same. A point away here in game number one. And Buckner right now just, man, she is surgical in this first game. You stole that term from me, Drew, is top of, top of mind. Yeah, Sur surgical precision on the ground strokes and coming up to the net uh, by Brooke there. But what a run. Um, the ball's playing hard and fast right now with these cooler attempts. So uh, all credit to her for getting that down. So game one in the books. Good start for Brooke Buckner. We'll be back to Overland Park. Ready to go. Buckner to serve. Start of game two. Point. Point. Oh, Ryan, she has just looked yeah. crisp and on point. One zero. Point. Mm. Yeah, the return from Christian's giving kind of slice underspin, and so Brooke is trying to hit a topspin roll, and that's just going to kind of be used Two, against her, unfortunately. Point. Christian just having a bit of trouble handling the Brooke power, especially off the serve. 3-0. That one long as well, and Time Caitlin Christian four zero. a bit disgusted at herself right now, heading to the bench another time. Great hustle there from both. Five zero. Point. And Buckner just continues to tee off. There's a good answer. Great outstretched volley there from Christian taking that cross court. Really delicate play. Zero six. There we go. Nice job, Caitlin. Big serve. Kept Brooke back. Good passing shot there. Let's give these championship court fans a game, a match. One, six. So these points by Point. Caitlin Christian ended a 17 to nothing run executed by Brooke Buckner. Yeah, that's unbelievable. You don't typically find a run of, of that Two, depth six. in a semifinal with fresh legs, but anything can happen. Oh, how about Side that out. shot? <laughs> Unbelievable cross. Brooke getting so low here to get kind of below and. 6 2. Point. Hmm. Side out. I mean, that's the one she wants. She's going to win seven or eight. 
out of 10 of those kind of ripping forehands. Two, seven. And that is Side long hand. on the serve. So Christian can't believe it. Seven, two. Point. And the returns have been an issue big time. Eight, two. Side out. The returns have, yeah, I think she's tried to change it up with the slice return, but that's kind of floating out. Um, we don't have much wind here today, so that's not really a factor at the moment here at 9.15, but um, Two let's see her try to serve serve deep again. Let reserve, I'll recall. Two eight. I think that's uh, Buckner's third attempt of uh, a lefty shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Putting that paddle out, outstretched in her left hand. I love the hustle. Three, eight. And there it is again. This Point. one <laughs> goes awry as well. So Caitlin Christian starting to play much better here in game two, but is it too little too late? I hope not, but uh, Caitlin doing a really good job of understanding that when Brooks pushed Four, into her forehand corner, she's typically going cross court with that right now. And now here's Caitlin Christian Four, starting to gain some confidence. Great controlled play here by Christian. I think it caught the back edge of that. But important moment here for Caitlin. Five, Quick serve, I'll recall. Five, eight. Side out. Not a redo, it was a football. So a football Side called out. on Christian. She's trying to get yeah. clarification here. All right, here we go, players. Eight, five. Point. And you can tell it kind of carries Time over there receiver. into Eight, the five. next. Her, she's exploded onto the scene uh, a lot due to her MLP success on the fives, playing alongside Anna Lee and Zane. Um, she's got a unique game style. She's very confident in that and uh, is really kind of showing that it can work in all three events right now. Time in. Nine, five. Oh, how about this? Great effort. Crowd's going to appreciate that here yeah. at KC. Certainly a lot of great core coverage here. Caitlin just a little too soft on the roll, kept Brooke in the point. Five, nine. Side out. How about that shot? That is just nasty. <laughs> That's why it's scary to go up against former elite college tennis players. <laughs> Nine five. Had quite a run at the University of Michigan. And Side that out. one's long. Brooke Buckner also spending time as an assistant coach, UNC Charlotte. 
think that helps you Five, as a nine. player, too, whenever you lend a hand as a coach. Point. So Christian not out of this just yet. Six, nine. The cross court forehand by Brooke is just some printing, printing points for her right now. Nine six. Point. Mm. Match point. And now match point coming up here for Brooke Buckner. Trying to do this in under 30 minutes. She is not wasting time here this morning. 10 6. Sign out. Six ten. Sign out. Match point. So second match point coming up here. Take six. Side out. Six ten. Side out. Match point. Six. Little Four, help from the net cord, match. and that does it for Brooke Buckner. So 11 3, 11 6. Made it look rather easy. Kate, Caitlin Christian did have some moments in that game, too, but just too much of that cross court forehand. Yeah, the Brooke ground strokes, too much to handle, and uh, props to her for two great clean games and uh, well-earned trip to the finals. So Brooke Buckner is on to championship Sunday here in Kansas City. She'll await the winner of Kate Fahey and Mari Humberg. So Brooke Buckner trying to stand atop the podium like she did at the LA Open. That's the last time she won an event here on the Carvana PPA Tour. Brooke Buckner. We'll talk to her when we come back. Stay tuned. Yeah, no worries.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Selkirk Kansas City Open. Brooke Buckner, successful. 11-3, 11-6, silver Caitlin Christian. And now she heads on to Championship Sunday here in Overland Park. Brooke Buckner, an awesome job in our opening match of the day. And now she joins us from Humana Championship Court. All right, Brooke, so you were originally scheduled to play this yesterday. It gets moved to this morning. Are you a morning person? Because you certainly looked like it in this semifinal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if, thankfully, I am a morning person. Uh, you know, I have three kids at home, so I don't get to sleep in too often. So this is right when I'm, I'm thriving. So that was good. Hey, Brooke, uh, great job against Caitlin. Uh, what, did, what was kind of the game plan going into her as she's such a great mover and, and was really on fire in her run yesterday? Yeah, I mean, she's one of the most athletic people out here, um, always a very consistent singles player. So I knew I had to be more aggressive um, and keep the ball deep so I could try to avoid her coming forward before I did. Because when she's at the net, she's extremely hard to beat. So it was kind of try to get there before she does and keep the ball deep and just play my game. And, you know, hopefully it works. <laughs> Brooke, tell us more about that game right now. You were the champion at the LA Open over the last month and a half. Of course, you've played a lot of MLP involved in a big time trade, but what's your mindset coming back here on the Carvana PPA Tour? How hungry are you for a title? Yeah, always hungry for a title. Um, you know, it's good to be back um, playing PPA. Uh, we had MLP for a while and it's fun. Um, and now, you know, we're back at PPA grinding and looking for medals. And uh, I'm excited and thankful to be in Championship Sunday. But, you know, I always take one match at a time and try to play my game. And, you know, if it works, it works. <laughs> Brooke Buckner, congratulations. We'll see you, you on Championship Sunday. Thanks, guys. So Brooke Buckner moving on, and we are just getting rolling on Pickleball TV. A big day of pickleball ahead from Overland Park. That second women's semifinal, Fahey versus Humberg, is next.